Hi Leos, how are you doing this August 2nd, 2023? This is the Empress Speaks and I'm back to kind of check in on your energies and see how you're doing. If you're celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday. For my returning subscribers and new subscribers, hey, what's up? We're doing our thing, we're moving right along. We're up to about 900 and... Um, 90 or 89 subscribers it kind of toggles back and forth i guess some people you know checking in and they're checking out and it's all good um for those who are stopping in stay for a while you know let me know what you like and um basically this channel is about um leo signs we do t leo tarots mainly i'm a proud leo sun so this is for leo sun moon uh rising and venus um and we do a few collective readings as well, but I also try to enlighten and share spiritual concepts and kind of weigh in on things that are happening in the world um, that may impact our ascension or just some provocative thought regarding spirituality. Y'all know I've got my favorite smudge spray, honey. I put the link in the community tab. I spray my cards with it. I also um, use a few other things to kind of clear negative energies. Sometimes I use my sage. Um, hold on one second. Let me make sure I turn off my notification. And uh, other times I use crystals. I always use crystals here. Um, so anyway, tell me what you like to use if you are into any type of uh, tarot reading. All right. So yeah, uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you like the vibe, if you want to be a part of this soul family. we got to think of a name for um, our Empress Speaks audience. I call you guys my family, but um, let's put some suggestions down. I want you all to kind of think of a really catchy name for our collective group, our family, our soul tribe. Soul tribe is just fine. We can stick with that, or we can come up with something new. It's, it's you know, it's our thing. We're co-creating this together. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We're going to start with a spirit animal oracle. We've got lots of cards that want to pop up on deck. So I'm going to take these two. Um, well, how 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 thought provoking is this? Uh, the first um, spirit animal oracle card we got was butterfly. Butterfly, of course, rebirth, metamorphosis. You can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. I love that. I, I'm going to take this one. This one resonates with me because I am in a process of rebirthing and healing and becoming anew, being um, refined. And some of you very much can relate to this as well. And so there's always something wonderful when we go through a rebirth. It's a little bit painful. Um, and oftentimes, you know, we experience that Ten of Swords or that Three of Swords to the heart. Um, but you come out so much better. You come out refined. You, if you've been sifted, and I feel like I've been sifted or I am <clears throat> being sifted. And what lies left is very fine, very, very, um, I don't know, very refined and just something new. You know, all of the grittiness is washed away. All of the ego dies and what you're left is with this fine grain, this element. And then we have the tiger. This card popped out too. And tiger is fire. Now, how symbolic for us Leos, right? I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. I just did a short about this um, just maybe 20 minutes ago. Um, if you've not seen it, check that out. And this really uh, confirms um, that short that I just did. You are unstoppable. Your power is limitless. You have divine guidance. You have your ancestors with you. You have divine with you. Right now is a mighty, mighty powerful time for us Leos um, to step into your power you have whatever you want to manifest, you have the limitless potential to do so. So that is absolutely beautiful. And the very first time I think I've got those two cards together. So with that being said, let's get into the reading. I've already prayed over the cards. We want our ancestors to bless this reading and to um, 
remove any block any spell work or dark magic that may come against us as we go through this thing of life together as I do this reading protect you protect my family protect me and transmute all negative energy to something positive because love is the highest vibrational frequency all right spirit let us know what is in the energy for our Leos today, 722. What do we have for our Leos today? What do we want to share with them? All right. <clears throat> Hermit mode here. I mean, we've got the um, Five of Cups. So somebody is, um, you know, grieving the loss of something or someone. Um, he's got three of cups, you know, on the ground, cups of wine that are spilled, and then two cups right behind him that are full. So this person is missing a connection. You know, they have someone in their life, perhaps even a family, but they're looking down in despair over what was lost or what could have been or what once was. Um, maybe you all work together or you were in closer proximity and now you're no longer with this person. And so they're just um, very disillusioned by the fact that they don't have you in their energy. They can't really um, sense you as much because you may have relocated, moved away, or broken off the relationship. And we've got the Three of Cups in, in reverse, so some type of rejection here took place and disloyalty so let's let's uh get into it a little bit more okay um and we've got the knight of pentacles that came in reverse so somebody is you know um kind of throwing themselves into work maybe or um, doing that as as a way to cover their their self confidence issues or their lack of courage and self confidence. Got the seven of cups here, so they <laughs> they have they're thinking about you a lot. Um, they're you know looking at all of the unfulfilled promises, opportunities, what could have been when you were together, what, you know, uh, is no longer in their grasp due to some action that they took uh, towards you. Could be someone with water in their chart, perhaps a Scorpio. Um, yeah, so they're spending a lot of time daydreaming and, you know, s seeing you and everything that they do in their lives. And you're in this energy, a Queen of Swords energy. You're, you're very complex, very intelligent, and you're speaking the truth. Uh, and they know that you will. You're very clear about your boundaries, and you would be clear in a communication with them. Yep. All right, tell me what else, Spirit. Yeah. And we, we said that this was probable here, this Three of Swords... Perhaps someone with air in their chart, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Uh, there was a bitter, bitter heartache uh, and heartbreak and separation. And you're very matter-of-fact about it and, and what contributed to it and what part your person played in it. You know, you, you speak the truth with it. You know, you don't sugarcoat anything. You got the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, um, something is going to be communicated here. We've got Six of Cups. So, right now, you know, you, you're reflecting on how far you've come in your healing journey. And you have come very far. This was very painful for you, devastating, very, very much a chilling heart ache for you. Um, you have some fond memories, and I think that's what's holding you together because you also can't bear the thought of such betrayal. You know, you are trying to vibrate in your highest frequency. You know how important that is, and to not harbor hate. So what you're choosing to recollect about the situation is positivity for the most part. 
but make no bones about it. You will cut them with their words and tell them exactly what was done, how you felt about it. But as far as um, what is in your heart right now, it's not animosity. It's just closure uh, in a very healthy way. The car two cards that came out is a death card in the reverse here. And so this person... Um, <sighs> I think this is their energy, another water, some more, uh, someone with water in their chart, perhaps a Scorpio. Um, this person is very stagnant and, and stuck. They're, they're immobile. They're not, um, they're not able to make a transformation they need to, um, but they're stuck for whatever reason. And we're going to get clarification on this um, card, on this death card, but they're stuck in, 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 almost in time they're frozen in time after realizing what this connection was and how much you mean to them they they kind of got stuck you know they're not able to move forward to come towards you and they're not able to go back in time so they just have these nostalgic memories that play out over and over in their heads in their head and then we got the two of wands so potentially a fire sign um aries leo or sagittarius um so what this indicates is that, you know, somebody is, is sad as they reflect on, you know, what could have been between the two of you. Um, the two of ones in reverse is just someone is, you know, they're, they're retreating uh, because they know that this cycle is over. They've taken way too much time to come towards you with an apology. Um, they, they've not done anything to close this cycle out correctly. Uh, they've stay, they have stayed or remain in prison in their head, in their mind, in their heart, stuck there. Can I get more on this Two of Wands spirit? Eee. Okay, we've got the King of Pentacles, and it looks like it, it came out in reverse here, flipped out. And so, um, with this King of Pentacles in reverse, this is a business person, but with him being in reverse... He is very controlling, um, very manipulative, financially uh, corrupt. You know, uh, this person's business practices have gone south. You were the catalyst to change them, you know, to enlighten them and to uh, help them or motivate them to ascend. You were that goodness, that that something sweet in their lives that would have motivated them to become the highest version or a better version of themselves, if that makes any sense to you. Um, and so this person has kind of, I wouldn't say thrown caution to the wind, but they've got some very shady, uh, uh, very shady business practices that have pretty much gone south. Um, you were their moral compass in a way, and without you being around this situation, I got too many cards. Without you being around this person, their business, or in their life romantically, they've taken a turn for the worse. And again, we've got three of cups, and it came in reverse. So um, this person might be overindulging. They might be drinking too much. 